Is it getting better? Or do you feel the same? Will it make it easier on you now? You got someone to blame You said one love Hello and welcome to the United Stand This is Friday's Manchester United Transfer News Giving you that real fan opinion and I'm also going to give you who I think is going to finish in the top six because the Premier League starts today. It starts today. It's amazing, isn't it, that we started the transfer daily back when the season last season was still going. And it's still going now. And we had all the summer. It's been an interesting one. Um, and yeah, so we'll get, well, let's fly straight into it. Let's fly in straight into it. Um, there's only one certainty I can give you at the start of this Premier League season. And that is that Liverpool won't win the league. And uh, Arsenal won't finish in the top four. But I'm giving you too much detail here. Let's, uh, let's get really into it. I just want to say uh, a rose by any other name. Is not Danny Rose. Um, that doesn't even make sense. I sort of went down an alley that I wanted to go to and I forgot. Um, but in relation to Danny Rose, I just want to bring him in straight away and say um, £50 million for Danny Rose. I am flabbergasted by Manchester United fans who are openly having this conversation about Danny Rose. I think Danny Rose would be a bad signing for many reasons. Not because he's a bad left back. I prefer Luke Shaw, but he's a good left back. But has anybody actually thought of it from this point of view? 75 million on Lukaku, 40 million on um, Matic, 30 million on Lindelof, and then 50 on Rose. Would take us over 200 million pounds, roughly. Am I right? Is my maths right? Yeah, it would take us over 200 million pounds. Two hundred million pounds spent on Matic, Rose, Lindelof, and Lukaku. It just doesn't sound right, does it? It doesn't sound like a good use of two hundred million pounds, and two hundred million pounds is a lot of money to have spent. And we sort of feel all we've had to make do this summer. We've not really got the targets we wanted to get. We haven't done that big marquee signing, but we've spent two hundred million pounds. And it only really dawned on me last night when I sort of added it up, and I thought, you know what? Yeah. I don't want to spend £50 million on Danny Rose because I think then that reflects quite badly on the money we've spent on players that I think will improve us, but we may as well have gone and got the big one, if you know what I mean. That's my thought on it. Uh, Renato Sanchez is still available. Um, it was meant to be going to AC Milan. It's stalled a little bit, and this talk around Manchester United and Chelsea. As I said yesterday, everything seems to be Manchester United and Chelsea this summer. City have sort of done their business unopposed. Liverpool and Arsenal, I don't think they've got the brains to realise that the summer transfer window is open yet. Don't tell them. They'll do it all in the last week. And uh, Spurs just don't want to spend any money because they're tight. Um, and they've got a new stadium to build. But uh, yeah, Liverpool, it seems to be United and Chelsea and everything. Renato Sanchez, Mourinho liked him a year ago. I don't think he wants to take that risk at the moment. I think what Mourinho is looking at, and probably the reason he didn't look at Fabinho for the midfield role, is he wants to win the Premier League. He wants to win it like he's done it everywhere else in his first two years. And he is looking at Premier League quality players. And that's what he's done with Matic, and that's what he's done with Lukaku. And I suppose if Danny Rose is realistic, that's what he's trying to do with that. But I think 50 million is way too much way too much but we'll see what happens with it um talking about way too much i've got to mention Kylian mbappe he was a player way back in i think march april where de Marzio said Mourinho really wanted him he was obsessed with him i think we tried to get him but look look what's happened 160 million pounds to psg i mean I, one thing i would say about this transfer window it has been frustrating in parts for manchester united but it's been very disappointing in in relation to the bigger picture. I think the Neymar thing was sort of left you with a little bit of uh, sick in your mouth. And the Mbappe thing is even worse. 18 years of age, potentially one of the best up and coming talents in world football, goes from the champions of France to the team that finished second in France and turns his back on a move to probably Real Madrid who wanted him. And as much as I don't like Real Madrid... That's because probably we aspire to win the trophies that Real Madrid do. And they have a big history and they are a rival. But PSG, pricing yourself out of any move ever again as well at 18 years of age. It just labels you as a greedy little boy straight away. And I, 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 I wonder and worry where football's going. I think I just, I'm not jealous of the deal. Um, I'm just sad. I'm sad for football. I think it's sort of hashtag football rest in peace. I think it's, you know, Neymar is, I can see the Neymar thing and it doesn't surprise me. Um, I always thought he was a bit of a mercenary and, and he, you know, he has killed his career doing that, but he'll make a lot of money out of it. 
for an 18 year old lad I mean you're meant to be, you're meant to be in love with football I look at Rashford and yes he's at Manchester United but he he's in love you know he's bulked up over the summer he wants to achieve he's driven um Mbappe you know he's had he's had one good season I, and I do think he is going to be a good player but PSG it's a pub league it is a pub league and it's about money as well and it's a rival where's your credibility where is the credibility of footballers now where have all the cowboys gone which means where have all the heroes gone? It, it is sad. It, I don't want to dwell on it too much because it's nothing to do with United, but it is sad where football's going really, and and who pays for it all? You know, mad. You know, billionaires who've got no interest in football or fans, but and also financial fair play. How have PSG got the money to do that? They they don't. It's just a mockery. Football's being made a mockery of because everybody just wants to make money. But the Premier League is back tonight. I think Arsenal are playing games tomorrow. And then we've got um, Manchester United v West Ham on Sunday. My preview show is tonight at 8 o'clock. Looking forward to that. Make sure you watch that and don't watch Arsenal. Um, because we'll have Jose Mourinho's press conference comments. And um, and we'll see if I can get 11 out of 11 again uh, in, in relation to the team news. But... Last chance to get involved in the fancy, in our in our Premier League. It's not the fancy Premier League. We're doing it through the Telegraph this season. There's lots of prize money up for grabs because we are doing ten pound entry because it is through the Telegraph. But I think the game's going to be fantastic. We've got quite a few people signed up already, but it's quite a select group of people. So um, instead of having thousands in a fancy Premier League, we've got a couple of hundred, I think, maybe 150. So good chance to win. And I think the prize money for the winner is up at about 600 quid so far. So. Good. Um, get involved in it. You know, it's Friday. You know, maybe do it on your lunch hour. Get involved. But um, top six. Top six. Okay. So starting in sixth place, I'm going to go with... This is the hard... I know who I'm going to put in the first two and three, but the sixth position, I'm going to put Liverpool in... No, I'm not going to put Liverpool in there. I'm going to put Spurs in sixth. Am I? <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. I'm going to put... Because people will watch this back. I can't be flipping. I am going to put in sixth place. Yes, I am going to put Liverpool in sixth. I'm going to put Liverpool in sixth. I'm going to put Arsenal in fifth. I'm going to put Spurs in fourth. I'm going to put Manchester City in third. I'm going to put Chelsea in second. And I'm going to put Manchester United in first. I think we're going to win the Premier League. Um, So United first. Chelsea second. City third. Spurs fourth. Arsenal fifth. Liverpool sixth. Uh, what what I would say is it wasn't easy to pick, and that six teams that two of them are not going to finish in the top four. Um, an interesting season ahead. Uh, very very looking forward to it. We've got to get a good start in it. Um, in relation to transfers, I've not finished. In relation to transfers, I still think we're going to get Perisic. I haven't got any rumours or news or anything that's credible to say that, but I think we will go in for Perisic. I think that Perisic deal will get done. And to be honest, I would be interested to see what you lot think. Do comment about this. Where are you on the Perisic deal now? Not in relation to the frustration. Do you want Perisic at Manchester United? And if you don't, let us know who you would like, who's realistic. And if you do, why do you want him at Manchester United? Um, I need it. I need that information for something I'm going to do over the weekend. So really, please do leave your comments. Thanks everyone for watching. It's f -f -f Friday. It is Friday. Um, we'll be live tonight at 8 o'clock. I will be having a couple of drinks after work, like I always do on a Friday, so it will be a bit more juvenile. Um, I don't know whether I'll quite be ordering a Chinese gold bridge, but I'll certainly be um, a little, you know, I don't, I don't like, to, yeah, I'll have had a couple of drinks, anyway. And the Premier League's about to start, and the real football's here, but there's still going to be transfer news, so stay with the United Stand, keep getting involved, keep the community. Last night's, the last half an hour of last night's show, I know we lost the audio at the start, the last half an hour of last night's show, really hit home what a great community we have on the united stand it felt like a close-knit new community on that last half an hour i thoroughly enjoyed it um, and rescued it from what was a frustration losing of the audio so thanks to everyone for that thanks to everyone who gets involved it is a community you are part of it you you get what you put in and um i think everybody does feel part of that and we're going into this season and we're gonna have to stick together there's gonna be ups and downs but we're gonna win the league thanks everyone for watching i'll speak to you all later for the preview um and don't forget to sign up for the fantasy football if because once it started you can't get in and i think it's going to be a cracker a real cracker speak to you later